and the search continues for a missing teenager at North Thompson Beach. And tonight we have new information from the town manager about the moments before the teen disappeared. Our Olivia Doles is live there with more Olivia. Courtney, it's been over 24 hours since the missing teenager since the search for the missing teenager started. And earlier today, we learned that the missing 14 year old was fishing with his older brother at the time and officials continue to look for him. On Thursday, the unexpected happened at the north end of the New River Inlet. Sympathy, really. Um, no one can really relate to those kind of feelings. And so the only thing we can do is sympathize for him. And there was, it was immediate sadness, really. It's tragic. You don't ever want to see anything like that happen. Um, it's just really heartbreaking news to hear. A 14-year-old boy took a fishing trip with his brother, but he went missing in late morning. Officials say he was yelling for help as he was sinking into the water. They had walked out maybe about 50 yards into the water. There are some sandbars and all in the area. Uh, after they'd been out there for a while, well, they got caught in the current. Currents so high that are considered dangerous, which is why officials want people to be extra careful in the water. Well, I think what they should do is take your family and teach everybody about rip currents. Read, read about them. There's videos on how to get out of them. And then really get out there and practice with some of your family members on a, on a rip current. And the search acting as a warning to others at the beach. Going out in the ocean, I always want to be careful of the tide. Um, it gets really powerful out there. No matter how strong you might think you are, uh, you definitely got to respect the tide. Respecting the tide is something Colton Tichy says he already does since he grew up in the area. The drive out on the north end, you uh, there's a drop off. So knowing when the high tide and low tide are coming in, we know our boundary of where not to step. The situation is a stark reminder that even a fishing trip with these water conditions can quickly turn dangerous. Really, there's nothing we can say to comfort this family. Um, all we can do is really pray, uh, pray for them for comfort and for peace uh, eventually, um, and pray that they find their son. I also talked to someone else at the beach who said he carried a boogie board in case he ran into the teenager as he walked the beach yesterday. Live at North Topsail Beach, Olivia Doles, WITN News. Yeah, hopefully he's found soon. All right, thanks, Olivia. And officials say the first three days are crucial, and if the teenager is not found by Sunday, they will enhance the search.